In this tutorial video, I'll help you understand how to use your Logitech G-Hub software to maximize the quality of your Logitech Brio camera. You can get two really cool shots with the Brio in my opinion. One of them is a wide shot using the 90 degree angle in 4K video to your advantage. I freaking love the wide shots you can get of your studio, especially for all of you live streamers out there. Also, you can get the face shot, which is what we're going to be doing today, setting up this Brio with this computer. Let's get into the software side. Okay, if you don't already have your Logitech Brio recognized within your G-Hub software, you need to watch my tutorial video I made before this one that shows you how to install the drivers within Device Manager and how to download the Logitech software by searching Logitech G-Hub download downloading for whatever platform you are, are, you are on and installing. And if you don't already have the Logitech Brio webcam, link below to buy it. Do not pay more than $200-ish for this webcam. There is price gouging going on right now because of the pandemic. Okay, got to warn you guys about that. Now that we're all on the same page, the Logitech Brio is right here. Go ahead and click it. It's going to send you to a default setting for the camera. Uh, you're not going to want to use the default setting. Um, so what you do over here under camera mode is you pull the drop down menu and go ahead and create a new camera mode just for yourself based on your own preferences. Next step with the zoom, you're probably going to want to stay at 100% zoom. Um, this is about arm's length away from my camera right now. That's generally where you're going to be at. However, if you want to punch in on just one thing for some reason, go ahead. But what I recommend, especially for broadcasters out there, you can crop the camera later, so you might as well capture the entire shot with zoom at 100%. As far as focus is concerned, I recommend turning focus auto off. And then if you're basically, like I said, arm's length away, having focus all the way to the left is going to be optimal. If you're more than a couple feet away from there, you move the focus toward the right. And if you're about five to 10 feet away, you can move the focus all the way over to the right and it will focus in on you. But all the way to the left will be for general webcam face cam applications for exposure i do recommend leaving auto on if you turn auto off it can get a little crazy uh, and this is one of the weaknesses of the software but as you can see if you move the exposure around if you find that auto is making you a bit too dark or a bit too bright uh, you can turn auto off in my experience if you have consistent studio lighting you're not outdoors auto is great it's going to give you a nice skin tone with auto. I, rec I recommend leaving that on. It's a real pain to turn it off. Trust me on that. One of the huge settings that everybody screws up when they're setting up their Brio for the first time is right down here, your field of view. One of the best features of the Logitech Brio camera is the 90 degree angle you get that gives you a nice comfortable shot. So click 90 degrees. As you can see, boom, look how wide this is. Look how much real estate I have. Now that I have all this real estate, I can move the camera around, maybe put you know myself inside the green screen shot, whatever it may be. It's so fantastic. In terms of your priority, this is going to select how it's going to use your system resources for the camera. I highly recommend doing exposure as your priority. Nobody really cares if you have every single frame of your camera. They care if you look good though with exposure. In terms of HDR, I recommend leaving HDR on which increases your quality. If you turn it off, it drops your quality. So leave it on. Cool. Here's the next step. There's a tab right up here called the video tab that allows you to add filters and other items to your camera based on your preferences. It's up to you whether you want to use these within the Logitech software or whether you want to add filters through OBS or slobs or whatever software you're using. But here's how this works. Under video filter over here, you can choose a number of default options such as black and white or cartoon or whatever. Most of these look pretty terrible. Um, so if you're going to do a filter, add a new filter. So if you find yourself maybe a little bit washed out because of your lighting, you can turn your saturation up by maybe 5% to brighten up your colors. If you find yourself wanting to have a bit more of a contrasty look, to have a bit more of an epic look on your camera, turn up contrast by maybe 5%. I don't recommend bumping any of these up more than 5% because it starts to get really extreme. You see how it just washes out the image once you get up past about 55%. It just, these filters are really, really aggressive. So be very, very careful. You can play with them. I don't think it's necessary to do any of these unless for some reason, 
uh, you want a particular look and you want to stylize your look all the time using your camera. So the one I would recommend bumping if you're going to bump anything here is bump saturation by 5%, bump contrast by 5%, and uh, call it a day. If for some reason you want to increase your sharpness, you can, uh, but it will start to make you look kind of strange with the blacks in your shot. Uh, I, so I recommend just leaving that around 50%. Okay, those are my recommended settings. If you do feel that you want to add a little juice to your shot, maybe a little styling to your shot, a little bit of contrast, a little bit of saturation, and that's it. Once you have done these settings, they are now saved. And that is your default profile for your Logitech Brio. It's that simple. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have more tutorials videos on Logitech Brio, including how to plug it into slobs and OBS and do more advanced things in terms of broadcasting, live streaming, and recording. So link to the playlist below as those videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. And if you do end up buying the Logitech Brio camera, use my link below. It helps support the channel. Adios.